Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Machining Plus CNC. We do everything from wood cutting projects to precision metal cutting. If you like this video or any videos you see on our channel, please hit the subscribe button at the end of the video and thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up multiple tools on this JCS 902 AE. I'm going to use three tools to demonstrate. I've got a piece of 5 8 bar stock in the machine. So if I were to load our part, we don't know where we're at in Z, so I'm just going to randomly move it to any position. We need to start off by being in the absolute mode. This is going to be similar to a work shift on a CNC, uh, sometimes referred to as a floating Z. But the first thing we're going to do, be in our absolute mode, come up, touch the face, and then we're going to zero the Z. The second thing I'm going to do is go touch the OD, and I'm going to manually enter the value in the X coordinate, so we're going to be 0.625 on our diameter. Now we can start touching off our tools even though we still have our first one in here we got to do it again. So I have not moved it from where I touched it on the OD. So I'm going to go to subdatum number one and I'm going to re-enter that same value x.625 and I'm going to retouch the face and I'm going to zero it. Now we can continue on with the rest of our tools. So we'll take our second tool that we intend to use, tool number two Scroll to subdatum number two. You could also go subdatum number two, enter. If you want to do it that way, it's the same thing. Okay, same procedure. Go up and touch the face in Z. Zero the Z. Now we're going to touch the OD with our tool number two. We're going to manually enter the value of 0.625. Okay, tool number two is set. We're going to do our third tool which I'm just using a threading tool, but the procedure is the same. Subdatum number three. Go up and touch the face. Zero the Z. Touch the OD. Input the value, X.625, and enter. Okay, now, as you can see, we've got tool number three. In priority, if I go back to tool number one, without changing the subdatum from three to one, that's the difference between the two tools and Z. That's just to, to make a point. But when I scroll back up to subdatum number one, we're zeroed out. If I touch the OD in my five eighths bar, I've got my five eighths. Now here's the cool part when I refer to a floating Z or a work shift. For whatever reason, if I need to move this bar in or out, I'm going to move it in. So I moved it in approximately a half inch. I can tell you exactly how much I moved it in with that same tool number one in priority. I touched the face. I moved it in 0.593 in Z. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my absolute coordinate and I'm going to re-zero the Z. Now that updated tools number two and three down the line. So now my Z is the same on all the tools with the new surface. You don't believe me? Watch. Take my tool number two. Call tool number two. I'm going to go touch the face after I move the part. And I have my new Z. Same thing, tool number three. Scroll to tool number three, go up and touch the face. So as you can see, that's a pretty easy, uh, straightforward thing. The one thing you cannot do is in the absolute mode, if you change anything in X, you're going to change it in every tool down the line. In my case, one, two, and three. And also, if you have tools number two or three, up here and you decide to hit the Z, you've ruined everything you just did. So if you like this video, uh, please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching.